Hello painters, welcome to this VC Studio blog. In May, I am attending my first art fair, which is called Bada Madrid. And they chose me one of the three ambassadors for the event, and I needed to suddenly travel to Madrid for a press conference. This was the first time I do this and it was a bit improvised in a rush but I recorded some scenes to show you. Para mí la casa siempre ha sido eh, un tema fundamental, pues como también hemos visto a lo largo de la historia de la pintura que ha sido pues para muchas pintoras. Pero es que ahora la casa ha sido ha estado presente para todos nosotros. Por suerte, por desgracia. Entonces, el hecho de ensalzar la belleza de lo cotidiano con pincelada grande, visible, no mezclar, con un color más expresivo, pues es lo que ha motivado a la gente pues en las redes sociales a seguirte. Lo malo es que se me vincula con una pantalla. Entonces, va a lo que me va a, a permitir es llevar estas relaciones del mundo virtual a un mundo físico y tangible. And as you can see, this is Bada, an art fair without galleries, in which the creator shows and sells their work directly to the people, and also making it affordable for everyone, not just expensive art like the typical art fairs. And you know me, this is amazing, and I share those fundamentals, so I think this is a great opportunity for me. An amazing opportunity not only because I can sell my work, etc., which I usually do online, but because I can finally start meeting you. I hope this brings me into the physical world and gives me some presence into the art world in general too. And for now, in this trip, I already met nice people. For example, now, while I was coming back home, I got asked some pictures for a magazine, so I needed to improvise a photo shoot for the event. And again, one of the first things I had to do, commissions, yay! Bada is making me work a lot and I am pretty late on my commissions. I mean, not late, but not as fast as I like to do. like five dog paintings more this week but I don't want to bore you with that many so this one was for a customer called Christina and I promised her to make the painting in this week so this was a priority at the moment and I took the whole day to make it instead of painting in small sessions for me this is what helps me the most with this like if the commissions were paintings for myself of course, next days, when I see the paintings, maybe I retouch some things or if the customer has any suggestions, I make them. But in general, I like to finish the painting in one go.
I also used the opportunity in Madrid to buy some paste colors. In Bilbao, as far as I know, there is no shop that sells golden acrylic paints, so I have to use my trips to restock the materials. In last videos, I showed you how I was testing Jim Musil's recommended base color, and I loved not only the color but also the paint type. This paint is super liquid and it's great for the purpose, so I wanted to test new colors, my usual pink, my teal, but in this liquid format. But at the same time, this paint dries super fast as you can see, so I had to add some water immediately and after that in a mix to apply it easier, but in general this is a great upgrade. Even though these aren't fluor paints, these are also super saturated and it's a bit complicated to paint on these colors but it's definitely worth it because for me it helps me paint more vibrant. And these are the tubes, I was using the same brand but in heavy body version or even some old Amsterdam acrylics. But I realized these are not ideal for bases, maybe yes for painting, but not for bases. Of course you can use them and I've been enjoying them, but they are matte and thick, so I prefer this light effect that the liquid format creates underneath. Another thing I had scheduled for this week was the Patreon study I make for my Spoon supporters. Each three months I paint a little painting for my patrons and this time it was for Julia. I knew she liked my egg paintings so I used this opportunity for a fun egg painting for her. And I also know she's currently experimenting with base colors, with pink base colors for example, and maybe this gives her a bit of motivation. This is the study in a cardboard piece that I have printed myself. And this is the puppy. If you want to see the rest of the puppies I'm making, just check my Instagram because I don't want to bore you with mm, five, six paintings in the same video. And also, I am posting the full painting of this one in my Patreon. Woo! This was an uh, intense week, I know. And I am tired, but I am also super motivated with this art fair. It's a new experience for me. Um, I need, it's, it, this is good because I need all this motivation to work super hard because an art fair is not only to sit down and paint and bring some artworks that you may have at home to a place. It has a lot of work that usually it's unseen and in behind the scenes. And I think I am going to make another video on this, uh, showing how I prepare my inventory, my stock, my uh, some tricks that I am learning from other painters, other creators. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this mini, this improvised studio vlog, and I will see you next video. Bye bye.